Okay, so welcome to this video on uh, limit slash accumulation points. Okay, uh, so uh, limit points, uh, which are also called accumulation points. So let's say we have a metric space, uh, which consists of a uh, set, uh, big X, along with a distance function, uh, which uh, D, which um, ascribes to every, two, every pair of, of points that you can think of, uh, that you can construct, rather, in this uh, set big X, it ascribes a distance that uh, those two points are between one another. Okay, uh, so the concept of a limit point is, if you have a set, let's say big M, then uh, little x is a limit point, limit slash accumulation point, for the set big M, for the set uh, big M, if, um, if uh, for all epsilon greater than zero, uh, there exists uh, a, a little m, which is an element of big M, such that little m is an element of the ball around the point x of size epsilon. So the intuitive way of viewing this is that, um, is that if you have a point uh, x, it's going to be an it's going to be a limit slash accumulation point for uh, for this set uh, for this set big M if no matter what size uh, balls what size open ball uh, you take around the point. Uh, little x, so this is the open ball, and again it should be drawn with dashed lines, uh, the, the open ball around x of uh, size epsilon, uh, so it's got radius epsilon, so however small you make it, you give me whatever epsilon you like that is greater than zero, I will find you a point, uh, little m, which is an element of big M, such that little m is also an element of this open ball. So whatever size epsilon you give me, I will always be able to find you, I will always be able to find you a point uh, in the set big M, uh, which is uh, within that ball. So these points, uh, these points in the set big M uh, can, can get, basically, arbitrarily close uh, to this point little x. Okay, uh, so uh, now what we're going to do is, uh, so let's just do an example in the real line to get uh, the intuitive sense for this. Uh, so if we take, uh, as our open set, uh, we'll take, um, let's say, let's take the interval, let's take the open ball around the point zero of radius one. So that's all points, all points in the real line, uh, which are have a distance away from the point zero uh, less than one. So it's, um, it basically is the open interval from negative one to one. Uh, so here's negative one, here's one. So it does not include the point one because that has a distance actually equal to one and this is an open ball, so it's distance less than one. Okay, uh, so uh, my claim is that one uh, or negative one, but we'll just um, we'll just look at one. One is a limit point for this open set. Limit point uh, for negative one to one. Okay, and uh, here's the reason uh, that if I take an open ball of any radius around one, so here we are, it's an interval, which is equal to the interval one minus epsilon to one plus epsilon. So here's one minus epsilon, and here's one plus epsilon. I will always be able to find you a real number between those two, uh, which um, which is less than one, uh, which uh, that is, uh, and is therefore an element of this set here, uh, which is going to be in this interval 1 minus epsilon to 1 plus epsilon. So quite simply, uh, just look at the point 1 minus epsilon plus 1 uh, divided by 2. So this gives 1 minus epsilon over 2. So if I draw another picture, here is 1 effectively. Uh, here is the open ball of size epsilon. I basically have taken the midpoint there, which is 1 minus epsilon over 2. So this number is less than 1, and 1 minus epsilon over 2 is therefore an element of my original set uh, minus 1 to 1. So it's an element of this original set up here, uh, and um, whatever epsilon you give me, basically, I can therefore find you a point uh, which is within the epsilon ball of 1. So 1 is therefore a limit point of this set, negative 1 to 1. And again, I'll just restress the reason is that if I take any epsilon ball around 1, I can always find you a point, namely 1 minus epsilon over 2, which is an element of this set. Um, where's my big blue pen? Where's it gone? 
I don't know where the big blue pen's got. I'll use this one instead. I can always find you a point which is in this set. Um, this uh, this set here. This pink. This is the pink set. Um, uh, that is uh, an element, a point that is in that set that is also in this uh, ball, uh, this open ball around one of radius epsilon. And therefore, um, this satisfies the definition of being a limit point of uh, this set uh, minus one to one. Okay, so now our theorem we want to prove, um, there's a very useful theorem about uh, these limit points, uh, which is concerns closed sets. And this is the theorem that um, a closed set a closed set uh, is a set which contains all its limit points. Contains all its limit points. Okay, and we will prove that theorem in the next video.